Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use cash coding in Xero to save yourself some time when you're reconciling your bank accounts. This lesson is actually part of a full course. So if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then please go ahead and check out the course in the description below. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and get started. So if you just come over to the cash coding tab, you should see a list of all the bank transactions that are left to be reconciled um, in your bank feed. So there's 17 transactions there. And what you can do with this cash coding is you can manually fill in all the information on these lines. And then when you're done, you can click on save and reconcile. So if you go through and do each line individually, you're not really gonna save yourself much time. So what you can do is you can group them together and then you can get a little bit of uh, automatic filling in done. So I'll show you what I mean. So if you click on one of these headings, you can group things together. So let's, let's just click on description. And you can see here that it's put things in alphabetical order. And we don't actually have any um, that are two or three of the same thing here, but I just wanted to show you as an example. So what we're better off doing is if we click on payee, see how that's now grouped all these payees together. So there's four transactions there for central city parking. There's two there for NAB, two there for Parkside kiosk. So we can go through and reconcile all four of these together as long as they're basically for the same thing. So I'll show you how that works. What you need to do is you need to check each one of those over here in the tick boxes. And then if I type something into the description here, okay, so I've typed in parking on Main Street. If I then hit the tab key, you can see that that's automatically filled that description in for all of the lines here that have been checked. So you can check other lines as well. Um, if you needed that description to go down into other lines as well, it doesn't just have to be central sitting parking, but obviously these ones um, seem like they should all be together. So I'm just doing it for those ones. So we can do the same thing for the rest of the fields here. So if we just pick that motor vehicle expense account that we had before and I'll hit tab and then we need to put the tax rate in manually. So we'll put GST on expenses and tab. And then of course you can pick um, your regions and departments as well. So we can just go through and we'll just do it like that as an example. Okay, so we've got four lines now that are all filled out. And if we click on save and reconcile selected, and then okay, that's gone ahead and reconciled all four of those lines together. So now you can see up here, we've only got 13 um, bank transactions left to reconcile. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Xero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.